What is up YouTube, it's your boy Alex here from Team Generations and today we're here with my buddy Eric who actually piloted this deck. This is the Witches deck uh, coming right out of Clan Collection Volume 3. So super excited to bring this. This is actually like an insane deck. I really think this is tier one, 100%. There is absolutely no exaggeration in that statement. Um, if you've played this, probably know what's going on. If you played somebody who knows how to pilot the deck, you probably know the deal. So uh, Eric, I'm gonna pass it over to you. Any opening thoughts? I know you played this yesterday, Locals went undefeated. Yes, I did. Um, very strong deck, uh, very nice. The amount of protect markers you can get a turn, the amount of attacks you can do that are insane numbers, just absolutely disgusting. Yeah, I think that's the real like zinger in this deck. It's just like absolutely insane, the numbers. Cool. So why don't we kick it off? Why don't you bring us through the grade three lineup, some of the new girls. You could bring them kind of like here, or I could bring them kind of as we, yeah, as we talk about them. Do. Whatever um, you talk about, I'll kind of hold up. The new one of the new grade threes, I can't say her name. I can't remember. Her name is like so Bayonet Witch Yo-Yo. <laughs> some of the names for these cards are disgusting. Um, but her skill is pretty good. It's uh, once per turn. Uh, when she's on the front, uh, vanguard or the rear guard, circle front row. Um, at the end of my battle, that a witch unit attacked, I can counter blast one, discard two cards, and then pretty much just reride. Yeah, um, so that reride is actually like absolutely huge. And then when you reride two, you also what is it? Pop her out onto rear guard. I can one? pop her out or get an uh, imaginary gift protect. So yeah, that really just yeah. lets you like stack those protect markers and. Speaking of the protect markers, I think this card is the real zinger on why you want to oh, be yeah, doing she that. She is so. absolutely amazing. What so when you attack with her, she's a reprint. Yeah, with Saria, which right? is Zezai, I think. Zozo. Zozo. So Zozo, when you attack with her, you get to reveal any amount of protect markers from your hand, and then your front row, three units in your front row get plus five for each one. Uh, normally, when you're rewriting, you're not hitting anything less than plus 20 on yeah, her. Yeah, I was going to say 20. I think I saw 15 20 once, like but that was like... 25, maybe. Um, Late game, it's just disgusting. Like, it's the same numbers over yeah. and over. And when you re so if you have her on your rear guard circle and you re ride her, um, I hit 50 mm. yesterday. Because and you can use this skill more than once. So yeah. you're giving 25 once to the other two rear guards. And then you are also juicing up um, the same rear guards as well as herself, yeah. too. I mean, that's a vanguard swing and it doesn't lose any drive checks off that. So it makes it, like, honestly, in my opinion, like absolutely broken. Yeah. Uh, it's just so, so powerful. I hit a lot of, uh, a lot of times, uh, yesterday when I was playing this, I hit her twice and just the numbers that you were attacking with, they were just, un they're not unguardable, but they're just, they're it just puts almost, that yeah. extra, extra, just, extra pressure. Especially when you have six protect markers in hand. Like, oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially against Disgusting force decks. Though. This is like the anti-force deck. So if you're playing Lular, play this deck. Exactly. And then we do have the original Witch. Uh, what was that? Coco over here? Yeah, Coco. Um, for, I only run her at a three of. Um, the only reason I run her really is when I hit that first stride. If I don't see these two, I still have somebody to ride into. And her skill is pretty cool. When you ride on... I, when you ride her from a grade two, you get to draw a card, and then you can counter bless one, soul bless one, to, uh, grade three, and then get you get to draw two cards. Um, this card synergizes well with this card. Um, so her skills when you're in soul. Um, this she's one got a grade three too. Yeah, it used to be the promo. This is yeah. C Blue Witch Nini. Yeah, she's a grade three in the soul. So when you ride over her, you you get to draw from her, and then you get to activate her skill automatically instead of having to re ride. Yeah, which is actually really nice. I, yeah. I, any time that you did go into that first, it was actually pretty, pretty annoying. Like you just yeah. drew so much, and you were able to accelerate your protects. I mean, it was just insane. Yeah. And then I, her second skill, you can use. You don't have to really. Um, you can discard a witch for each witch that you discard. You get an imaginary gift protect. So if you're really trying to set up later and just, I guess, protect. Yeah. If you're if you're really cool. trying to like, go at your opponent and say, listen, I'm gonna see you later. <laughs> You could just spam it, which yeah. is actually really cool. So she, she's so good. The the deck synergizes so well. Yeah, there's actually like a ton of variety between those three cards. I know it only yeah. looks like three, but I feel like there's different lines of play for different times, which is yeah. actually really, really awesome. It also depends on where you are at that stage. Very you true. know. So um, we're gonna do the grade two. Yeah, now we're gonna these do the grade two. Well. This these two new, uh, all three of these grade twos are new actually. This one um, technically should be your ride target when you ride on a grade one. I can't remember her name either. Cool, well, which poo poo. <laughs> yeah, their, their names are so weird. When placed on van by riding grade one, discard a card from your hand, and then you get an imaginary gift protect. When you this unit also uh, attacks on the regard circle, reveal all of the, basically all the protect markers in your hand. Actually, it's sentinels. So it's you sentinels, can, yeah. yeah, you can do like the crit sentinels too. Yep. 
and then you get an extra 5k so on top of her power up she gets her own power up i mean this was the real beater of the deck like every single time you played that it was just yeah. like i don't I think i save a pg for this the lowest for her i got was 59 the highest i got for her was 76 it's crazy it's absolutely and it's insane. just and that's without any boosters or anything like that so this deck just goes real ham yeah I feel like um even the, pro the protect marker from riding on to grade one into great your grade two when you're getting a protect marker is so key you could either use it or you could save it but it's also good too because yeah you could save it or you can use it because you know you don't i'm um, just kind of jumping ahead but you don't run the heal guardians over here so you can kind of stall out you know yeah. protect against your opponent's vanguard whatever it is with that protect marker if you want to so it opens you up to having bulkier shield a little bit later into the game which is nice because we are on protect numbers over here we're not yeah. on force numbers so i really like that actually yeah it's a really good card. Speaking of shield cards, we're going to go into our next grade, too. Oh, my God. Insane. This card is absolutely nuts. Uh, Jade Witch TT. Um, her skill, uh, when she's discarded, I get to Soul Blast 1 and then call her. And then her second is... And that actually comes off quite a bit because you can do that with Coco and whatnot. Like it, I could do it with Coco. I could do it with... She was always um, regenerating. Uh, TT. Oh, uh, yo-yo, sorry. My apologies. Yeah, this is nice too because when it's plate put on rear guard, sir, um, guardian circle, so that means you can intercept with it and it still kind of goes too. Yep. And then uh, choose any to number of the sentinels. sentinels. Yeah. Yep. So you can discard a sentinel and she gets plus 20 for each sentinel discarded. So she stops you. Sentinel she, restrict. Yeah, there's no sentinel restrict. So it's if crazy. I go like this and I just pop this here and I just dump these three, I'm just going to go boom. That's a uh, plus 60. So she's a 65k shield. Yeah, so I know Hamiel obviously isn't really Dust an issue anymore, but like things like Gold Paladin, Shut Off, uh, Sentinel Restrict, things yeah. of that nature still. There are still some Sentinel Restricts in the game. Definitely helps a lot with that and gets yeah. you bulky. I haven't so. had to use her Sentinel, uh, her Sentinel skill yet. Um, cause I haven't seen any Sentinel Restrict decks, but I'm yeah, sure I, I will. Uh, I I'm sure I will soon. And when I do, it's gonna come in clutch. And then walk me through the grade ones over here. Uh, this, we still have this last grade too. Oh, yeah, her, yeah. her secondary skill we didn't talk about. Um, it's an act. So when she's on the rear guard circle, I can shove her into the soul and uh, look at the top three cards and then arrange them in any order that I want to. Oh, wow. So, so that, that not only helps Coco, but it just rigs the deck too, which is yeah. nice. I think that's very classic, like OTT. So that's this is a very classic OTT. Two, two birds, one stone. Yeah, very, very, very nice. <clears throat> um, off to the grade ones. This is a new one from the clan collection. Uh, All these names, <laughs> I like forget everything. Citrine Witch Mumu. Citrine Witch Mumu, yeah. yeah. So she's your main ride target. Um, when you ride a card with Witch, so when you ride from your grade one to your grade two, you get to draw a card. And then her skill on rear guard is really key. Um, you could Soul Blast one, arrest her, and then reveal three Witch cards. If you reveal three Witch cards, you don't have to shove her into soul, but you get to take one of the witch cards and put it into your hand. If you didn't reveal three witch cards, then you shove her into the soul, which isn't the end of the world. You still put them into your hand, though? You still put it. I can still reveal any numbers. Yeah, you still yeah, put yeah I can still put okay. it into my hand. Yeah, because it um, still works for, for her, Yeah, it too. still works. Um, so, honestly, whether you get it or not, like, if you get the three, it's not the end of the world, because this deck does use soul. Um, soul. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your main key units use soul in order to activate certain skills, certain abilities. Um, yeah, so that's all around good card, especially when you're riding over her. Such so that extra draw is really just means, yeah. really, honestly, the world. Um, yeah, what's that last one? That one's an older one, right? This one's an older uh, witch unit. Uh, Sprout witch. Row row. Yeah, row row. Yeah, that's right. Row row. She's a pretty good card. Um, boosted counter blast one. Yeah, when it, it has attacks. To hit, though. Yeah, when the when the boosted unit hits a vanguard, soul uh, counter blast one. Put this unit to your soul, which revives your soul as well, and draw a card. And then when it's in the soul, you get to soul blast one and call it to. Yeah, when rear it gets reroded by that grade three. Rear yeah, guard. so you can so you can essentially attack with these two shove if it hits shove her in the soul and then when you re-ride using her skill pop her back out for another attack oh so it helps with the boost yeah so you can boost like twice you can boost so it helps it also helps with the multi-attack yeah that's that's actually really cool it's actually really nice because you that's can, good behind the vanguard oh, you can wow. yeah you can put it behind the vanguard and then pop yeah. it out somewhere else get that multi-attack and yeah. you can boost them down those are so this card's also at a four of 
I brought back Gemini, uh, Oracle Guardian Gemini. The baby. <laughs> the baby. Uh, He's just, a pretty yeah. good card. I mean, I, I have him in at a two of, God forbid, I hit that. Uh, opponent that knows exactly what they're doing and they can't try to counter starve me because this whole thing starts your engine off and it's counter blast one so yeah. if you don't have the counter blast you're kind of sitting this dead. is a counter blast this is a counter blast one if you choose to use it to draw a card um they're your only two real counter blasts you should use a counter blast too right? yeah but I, honestly you shouldn't really have to go into her yeah um okay very cool you should really be going into these two this is also a counter blast so you can draw a card very nice. Um, so yeah, he just helps with the counter star. I mean, I see you went 12 crit over here. I think yes. that's correct in this 100%. I mean, if your opponent knows, and especially if you're in like a best of three set, it's like, oh damn, I know he's running those crit sentinels. Like yeah. they're gonna second guess themselves when uh, <laughs> trying to guard. And These whatnot. crit sentinels come in to key literally every single time, and especially with her you skill. Have so many protect markers too. So you really don't yeah. need the draw sentinels. Like, at one point, uh, the magic number I've noticed is five protect markers. Five? Five at, by the time you ride to your second grade three yeah, you and you re-ride, you should have five to between five and six. Five, yeah, I was going to say. It's so normal. when you're attacking here and here and you have six in here, it's... <sighs> yeah. You better have a protect mark. You better have a, a PG yourself. <laughs> um, and then her skill bounces off this skill, which is absolutely disgusting. So you're going to get plus 20 to 30 on her skill. And then you're going to get another 30 on her skill, yeah, yeah, and that's before the, this into the Yeah, hand. that's before these. So if that's you have crazy. these in your hand, that's 30, 40, 50. And that's just 50 alone. That is crazy. So this deck awesome. hits for crazy numbers, high numbers. Um, let's not forget our nice little heels here. I run four of the original heels. I might switch them out for the new heels. Um, I haven't really debated yet. I mean. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Thanks so much for bringing us through the profile. I really appreciate it. Um, again, we will be trying to push some videos now, doing some testing. I feel like we're, we've kind of been lacking in uh, play testing videos and whatnot, but trying to get back to that a little bit. So we will see what we can do and bring this deck to the channel. Let us know down below if you have any questions. And if you are interested in purchasing any of the cards, make sure to shop through our TCG player link down in the description below. Absolutely no cost to you. Help support the channel. Follow us on Twitter too if you want to ask any questions about the deck or check out our locals every single week. And if you did enjoy the content, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, possibly subscribe to the channel. Definitely appreciate it. And this is Alex and Eric signing out.